Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part two of Flutter Desktop App Release Development something something. Uh, I don't know what the title of this video is, but uh, you'll see it. Look down, it's right there. Uh, so, uh, in the last video we did for Mac OS, um, this one is going to be for Windows. Uh, if you haven't seen the Mac OS one and care about it, go back and check it out. There's some cool goodies in there. That being said, if all you care about is Windows, you can ignore it. This video will be good on its own. So uh, let's just quickly talk about what we did in the last one. Uh, so for Mac, we basically created this like installer.dmg that you know you could put on your website and allows you to sort of uh, you know drag and drop and get this in here and you know pretty typical Mac installer. And we even did some fun things where um, you know we hid these things over here so that they don't clutter your things. And I showed you an example of a better one that actually has like a arrow in the background because you can configure this background to whatever image you want or color or whatnot. Um, cool. So uh, for Windows, it is um, different, <laughs> but same idea. Uh, so I don't develop on Windows. Uh, I only use Windows really these days for a build machine when I'm actually releasing a Windows desktop app, which is something I do at least often enough uh, to have a VPS for this. So that's what I'm using. I have just a VPS running. Um, you know, rather than going over to my PC and getting it going, just keeps me more limber. Lim it keeps me more, um, keeps everything more practical for me because um, sometimes I'm on the road and I need to do like a Windows build rather than me lugging my desktop computer around or dual booting and wasting space on my computer. Uh, yeah, I just have a VPS for this kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, we'll go over to, to it now. Here we go. There's our VPS. Yay, super fun. Um, so what I have here is just the same sort of thing in the last video. I just did a Flutter create, uh, and what I've done ahead of time just to save us some time because the VPS is definitely slower than you know a PC I would you know have at home. Um, I ran the Flutter build Windows release. Cool. Uh, so we have that ready to go, um, and uh, it's built, and we can maybe even open this. Uh, let's try Control clicking. Oh, <laughs> let's go and reveal in File Explorer. Uh, slow, as I said. And we'll actually see we have my desktop app here. I believe this will just work if we launch it. Um, but this isn't really what you want to ship because there's some files that are needed and you don't really want to give someone a zip file. We want a real installer. It feels more legit. So um, that's cool. Let's go to um, let's go to Google right here. Um, and what you want to search for is Inno Setup Script Wizard. This is just a Windows application. Um, you know, it's super old school looking, everything's cool. Um, and um, we want to go to the download button and uh, we want to find the download here. We're going to want to download the setup right here. Uh, download from the US, download from the Netherlands, wherever you're closer to, or it probably doesn't matter because everyone's internet is way faster than when this website was originally made. Uh, so yeah, you would download this, install it, run it to make sure it runs. Uh, and after that, you can just close it because you don't. Act, we're not going to use the GUI. We're going to be <clears throat> interfacing with it through the command line. Yay. Uh, so, um, what you're going to want to do next is I made a resources folder at the root of my project. You can call it whatever you want. You can put this anywhere, really. And I just called something installer-config.iss. And uh, you'll want to get this. There's an example one um, in their docs, um, which I will try and find. It was a while ago that I found this one. Um, documentation. Let's see. Um, It's probably one of these two things. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and find this for you real quick. Oops. All right. So I just googled "inno setup example iss file." Found this one. There's also this one. I mean, any of them are fine. Um, but uh, this one looks fine here. Basically, you can just copy this as kind of a starting point. Has some docs and stuff, um, and uh, and basically I've pasted that into here, more or less. I made some changes already, just so I don't make typos. But uh, yeah, a few things to point out. This is our configuration file for the installer, not for your actual app, but for the installer. Uh, so we can give it a name. Uh, we can give it a version number, an author or a publisher, uh, our URL to our app, cool. And then the name of the exe, which I believe has to be whatever um, it is called in here. So let's just take a look at that. Build Windows uh, x64. Um, where did this actually go? Hang on. Yeah, x64 runner. <laughs> I'm just trying to find it based on this. Uh, release. And then here there'll be my desktop app.exe. So let's actually name it that my desktop app.exe. Awesome. 
Um, so we have that kind of stuff, which is cool. Uh, there's some like a lot of cool settings that you can do. Like if it needs admin, you can have privileges required admin. You can say it's an x64 app, so it you know is only compatible with you know 64-bit architecture. And then you can in theory have multiple of these, right, for your 32-bit people and your ARM people and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then yeah, we just kind of because we set these constants here, these are just you know we're defining them. Uh, we can of course then use them here. They're just basically variables, so we'll skip all that. Um, we have a link to our setup uh, icons, which I need to actually make an adjustment here. I kind of did this prematurely without actually seeing where it would go, but uh, I have to find all references to this. Okay, there's just a couple uh, because this is in. Um, oh, maybe maybe this is right. Hang on, setup icon file projects my desktop app windows oh yeah we need that x64 basically that's a oops um, now remember on windows it is backslashes not forward slashes x64 uh, x64 runner let's see if it is in there um, resources yeah where the heck where the heck does this resources folder go app icon let me see if I can actually just find it app icon.ico there it is okay so it's in windows yeah windows runner resources oh oh <laughs> that's a, sorry that's actually the correct spot i was thinking it was in the build folder but no it is inside literally the windows folder which is here somewhere windows runner resources there we are so there's our app icon so that seems to be pointed correctly cool um we have that um and then what we want to do is tell it what files need to be included in here. And ultimately, we want to basically have it in uh, in this build Windows. Now, this is where I need to make this change, uh, x64. And I'll do the same here, x64. Uh, release, I think, is now lowercase in this version of Flutter. <laughs> Sorry for my typos. It's just using VPS. Yeah. Code, or coding or even configuring on a VPS is kind of annoying. Um, let's just see if this is actually lining up. So build Windows X64 runner release. Oh, it is a it is uppercase. Oh my goodness. There we go. Uh, so then my app exe name. That's just that variable, right? So we made that up here. My desktop app. My desktop app. So that's good. That should be fine. So we're saying we're going to include that file, but then we also want to include all the other files. Um, uh, inside that directory, so we do it that way. Um, cool, and then um, I think that's it. I think that's all we have to do. So, now that we have that in place, uh, what we need to do is just basically run uh, run this installing package. So we've already done, like I said, the Flutter build Windows release. You need to do that first, otherwise there won't be anything to for it to work with. But now what we need to do is actually run Inno Setup. Um, now this is a little bit annoying to run <laughs> because uh, you have to, unless you put it on your path, you know, if you're doing this a lot, put this on your path um, out of the scope of this tutorial, but you can put it on your path just like you've done with Flutter. Uh, but we actually are just going to target it by going C Program Files Inno Setup 6 ISCC and then we're going to point to our installer config. So um, period backslash. Uh, we want to go into our resources folder and then a backslash again. And uh, what do we call this again? We call it installer config. Oh my god. Fig dot ISS. Um, cool. And uh, I forget where this is going to output to, uh, but let's just find out together. So I'm just going to hit enter hope for the best. So it's doing stuff now, and there we go. Um, I think this is, I tried to fix something earlier and I realized, I guess you do need this. I like. I thought this was like a mistake, having this double thing here. Um, so yeah, we'll just try that again. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so it's doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got a, okay, we got an error here, that's fine. Um, it's saying, no files found, see user administrator project, my desktop app, build Windows X64S. That's a typo. That's just a typo, and it's literally because this computer that I'm using is really slow. Um, so let's try running it again. Okay, um, same problem except runner x64 runner release star. I couldn't find this. What's different here? Build <laughs> Windows. There's where the S went. I bet you that's the S that got put on. Um, I'm sorry guys, but I'm blaming this entirely on my ping. There we go. 
So you can see it's not just copying my desktop app.exe, but it's also copying the uh, Windows DLL, um, Flutter Windows DLL, I guess that's like the runtime or something. I'm not too sure how Windows Flutter works under the hood, but it works really well. Uh, while we're waiting, I, I, I just kind of shout out, I think Flutter Desktop is awesome. It's like my favorite thing to work in between all the places that Flutter goes. Um, it's just really powerful. Um, it's fast. Like I use when I'm making an iOS app, a lot of the time I'm working in Mac OS and just resizing my screen because it's just, it's just quicker. The hot reloads faster. You don't have all the overhead of the simulator. Of course, you can't do everything on it, um, especially if you have like a package that's specific to that platform. But um, I love, I love it. And, uh, and it's great. And it's been something that's helped me um, make lots of money. Okay, uh, so now we just have to find out where this file went. <laughs> um, I'm just going to think maybe it's in... Yeah, okay. So inside that, wherever my installer script was, I guess, um, where the output... It made an output folder as a sibling to it. So let's just take a look at this uh, in our file explorer. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Um, we have... Oh, that's... Sorry, that's the configuration file. I was like, that icon doesn't look right. But if we go in here... We'll actually see my desktop app installer, and it has a Flutter icon, and that's just because the default app uses a Flutter icon. If we had our own custom icons, it would be that. And similar to the Mac one, you could choose a different icon for this. You know, your installer might have a little, like, you know, hammer or, like, something that makes it feel like it's the installer and not just the actual app. So uh, let's run this. I'm just going to open it. I like to just right click and open on my VPS because then I know sometimes the double click doesn't go through. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we get all this cool stuff, right? Create a desktop shortcut. That's kind of fun. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot more configuration you can do. This is just like the sort of bare bones sort of basic stuff. Uh, we click next and it even gives you the prompt, launch my desktop app. Yeah, sure. Let's launch it. So uh, let's see if it works. We never even tested this app. I never even built it and it's working. Oh my God. Look, we have, we have our lovely app here. Now, um, You'll see right here, my underscore desktop underscore app. This is just a, a side note separate. Um, if you ever want to configure what your app is actually called on Windows, uh, it's not part of the installer process, it's actually part of the Flutter process. Uh, and it's actually in your Windows folder in your main, uh, let me see, Windows, is it in Flutter? I think it's just in Windows Runner. Um, it's one of these. Probably main, probably main .c++. Um, We should see something. Yeah, there it is. So this is actually the code, the C++ code that's actually launching your 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 application. You know, the window itself. Uh, you could call this something else. You know, my desktop app. If you save that, and if we went through that whole process again, which again would be us doing the Flutter build release, and then also rerunning the installer, and then running the actual installer as a user, uh, we would see that this would change. And that's just a fun, nice thing to do. Um, cool, we have a counter app. Amazing. This is my favorite counter app I've ever made on Windows. All right, so that's it. Um, I'll put some links in the description for those things. But uh, yeah, I hope this is helpful, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.